We could even say in the Feldenkraisian sense of things that the sensation of the experience, right, is the awareness. That that is the mind-body unity, you know, rather than the binary and the split. And so we come into the body, we allow our mind, right, to become, as you said at the start, embodied, embodied. And a high performer knows, you know, and they know because they've had to find it. They've had to after all those performances and all those trials and errors, right? A series of successive trials and errors. It worked, it didn't work, it worked, it didn't work. And all those little micro moments and big moments, they have figured out, I've got to be present in this. And so that's a lot of why I feel that vocal production in, in a Feldenkraisian exploration can be extraordinary because oftentimes people are focusing primarily on the auditory with their speaking, right, or their singing. What does it sound like and sort of assessing whether it's working by what it sounds like, which is one piece of it, the acoustical piece, and it's vibratory and it's vocal energy that you're hearing. But in the Feldenkraisian sense, it feels to me that people then begin to feel their voices. They can feel the vibration. They can feel the passageway. And it becomes much less of a self-conscious process as well because it's so embodied and they're not detaching and listening, listening to self, listening, listening, splitting off and listening. They're in it. And, and they report that experience too. So, you know, I, I'm observing that and then I'm getting that feedback from the people that I've coached in those circumstances. <laughs> 